Hi everyone, it's Jennifer from FiberFlux. In this video, I will show you how to finger knit. Finger knitting is fun and easy and uses a minimum amount of tools. To finger knit, you'll need a ball of yarn, a pair of scissors, and your fingers. I have here a small swatch of finger knitting that I've completed. And as you can see, it makes a rope-like project. And depending on how big your fingers are, adult fingers or kids' fingers, your rope will vary in size. This is a great project to do with kids because it doesn't require a hook or needles. However, if you're doing this with very young children, you'll want to help them with the scissors part. So let's get started. I'm going to move our little sample here. And what you'll want to do to start is to pull a little bit of yarn off your yarn ball and your fingers are going to become the loom. So what I like to do is just pull a little tail and hold it with my thumb. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come under your finger, over the next finger, under the next finger, and then around your pinky. So it'll look kind of like that. Then you're going to come back up over this finger, under this finger, and over this finger. So it's going to look kind of like this. And then you're going to do it one more time. Go over, under, and around your pinky. Over, under, and around your index finger. So when you are finished, you'll have two loops on each finger. So what you're going to do next, and you can give this a little tug just to keep things nice and snug and so this doesn't get too loopy looking. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take the loop that's on the bottom and lift it up and over and off of your finger. Just like that. Next one, up, over, and off of your finger. Up, over, and off of your finger. Up, over, and off of your finger. Just like that. And you can give everything a nice little tug to snug everything up. Then what I like to do is just push everything down just a little bit so it'll look like that. Now you'll have one loop on each finger. So then you'll just keep going. Take your yarn tail, the one that's connected to the ball, and go over your middle finger, under your ring finger, around your pinky. Come back over your ring finger, under your in middle finger, and around your index finger. So now you have two loops on your fingers again. So you're going to lift up and off, same way we did before, up and off, up and off, and you might want to bend your fingers, that helps too. Up and off, just like that. So then you can just push it down. So you're just going to keep repeating this process for as long as you would like your project to be. Then just keep lifting these loops up, over, and off. And then after you complete each one, just push them down a little bit so they don't pop off the ends of your fingers. You can keep everything nice and tight. This stays down here at the bottom. Just like that. So you can just keep going as long as you like. And then just push everything down. So if you flip it over, you can see we're getting a little bit of a little rope here. So I'm going to leave you for a moment and come back after I've done a few more rows just to show you, get some length on this. Okay, so I've gone a little bit longer and I've made my rope longer just by working more rows. So when you're finished and your piece is as long as you would like it to be, let's learn how to get this off of our fingers and finish. So I finished a few rows and I have a loop on each finger. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the loop from our index finger and bring it up and over to the next finger. 
You can tighten this a little bit if it's looking a little loopy. Then you take this loop and bring it up and over that one. Then you take this loop and move it to the next finger and bring it up and over that finger. Then you bring this loop and put it on this finger and bring it up and over that finger. So now you're left with the one loop and your, your working yarn, your yarn here. So then you take it off of your finger and don't pull this loop out. Be careful not to let it out. And at this point, you can take your scissors or with young, young kids, just have the adult do this part. And you're just gonna trim it off like that. And then you're gonna take your yarn and run it into this loop here. And then you can pull it to tighten it and to finish that end off. So it'll look like that. And then at the end here, I like to just tighten things up a bit like that and just get a nice finished edge. You can even add a knot if you like to finish that off. So what you can do at this point is use this for whatever you like. You can make a belt or a little scarf or even tie the ends together for a fun kids bracelet like that. And then either these ends you can tie and then snip off or you can just take your hand and if you'd like to weave it together you can just kind of weave it with your just with your fingers. If you kind of open this up it you can see the these like ladder bars you can kind of weave it in between these little bars here. And then just take your scissors and trim that off. That's how you weave the end in. Or you can just leave this intact, tie it to something, and then trim that off. So that is how you finger knit. Thanks so much for watching, and be sure and click the red subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again!